Hi everybody, welcome to Step by Step Stories. My name is Mrs. Davey. I'm going to be your teacher today. I'm just going to get myself into a little spot here. Whoa. <laughs> All right. So let's get to get let's uh, let's get started. Okay. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about reporting a crime and what exactly is a crime. A crime is whenever somebody or a group of people do something to infringe the safety or the rights of other people. Okay, so that a crime could be an example would be stealing. Okay, because obviously you're taking something that is doesn't belong to you. Um, another example of a crime could be I'm going to call it um, the technical term is assault. Okay, but I'm going to call it like body injury. Okay, so that's when somebody touches another person's body without permission, without consent, and um, that's just not right. Okay, that is a crime. All right, and then the last one is called vandalism. Okay, there are lots and lots of in-between crimes that kind of combine all of these things, but these are sort of the three main ones that, um, that you will probably hear. And vandalism is destroying or wrecking another person's property. Okay, all of them are crimes. All of them are against the law. And all of them require um, a person to face the consequences and repair whatever it is that, that they have damaged or the people that they have hurt. Okay, and that comes with um, Helpers. So we do have community helpers, of course, that look after us and make sure that we are safe. So we have police officers. Okay, so police officers would come to the scene of a crime. Okay, when you call the police, they would come to the scene of the crime and they would find out information. Okay, we have detectives. Okay, detectives kind of look at all the information and make sure that it's accurate and that it's truthful. And then we would have judges. And judges kind of look at the information, they listen to all sides of the story, and they determine if a crime was committed, and if it was committed, what the damages are. So sometimes a person may have to pay back the person that they've injured. Some people may have to go to jail. Some people may have to do a little bit of both. But those are community helpers who help keep our community safe. And when our community is safe, then we can all do the things that we want to do inside our homes and outside. Uh, outside. All right, so criminals. Criminals are the people that do the crime. Okay. And the victim of a crime are the is the name given to people that have the crime done to them. Okay, so have crime done to them. All right. So what can you do if you suspect that somebody has stolen something from you? If somebody is threatening you to do some kind of bodily harm, if you come in and you check out your locker, you come into your home and you see that somebody has damaged your property, okay, it's your job, well, first and foremost, is to be safe, okay? If somebody's trying to hold you up or they're asking you for your um, cell phone or something like that, you know what? Give it to them. Give them your wallet, give them your cell phone, do not try to fight to keep something of yours because you want to make sure that your body is safe. So number one, be safe. So either run, okay, drop your stuff, okay, take off. Okay, take off to safety. Okay, number two, 
You want to make sure that you go to a safe home, a safe place, you talk to a responsible adult. Okay, they will keep you safe. They will also help phone up the police or whoever it is that needs to know about the crime. Okay, they'll take you to a hospital if you need to be checked out, if your body is injured in any way. Okay, so number two is talk to a responsible adult. And number three is that you may, okay, with a responsible adult in your life, talk to the police and report the crime. Okay, they'll ask you information. They'll ask you what you were doing, who you were doing it with, what's going on, if you knew the person, if you saw the person, they'll ask you tons and tons of questions. All right. But at the same time, though, they'll also be very careful to respect you, to respect your thoughts, to respect the fact that something, you know, not very nice at all happened to you. And uh, they want to make sure that they try to either get your stuff back or that whoever it is that has committed the crime has to take responsibility for it. And also that our community is safe. So reporting a crime is a way to help keep our community safe. Thank you for joining us and take care of yourselves. Bye.